Welcome back. Now we've been uh, considering the solving of uh, linear a system of linear equations uh, with two variables and uh, two equations. We now want to uh, see if we can put this into a uh, an application problem so that we can actually hone our skills on being able to solve a system of equation that comes from an application or a real life scenario. Now. The most difficult part to an application problem is the translation process from all the words to the um, to the actual mathematical system or of a linear equations that you need to solve. Now you would have uh, already experienced uh, a five-step process for um, breaking down a word problem or an application problem into a mathematical problem that you can apply your algebraic, algebraic skills to. So you may remember that the first step was to really understand the problem. Now this may mean that you need to read it through a large number of times or multiple times uh, until you really understand what it is that you know. All right. Okay, what do you know and what do you need to find? Okay, so that's the first thing. Right, number two is assign a variable. Right, to what you need to find. Okay. Number three, right, based on the information, write equations, right, using the variables. Okay. All right, so number four, all right, is um, solve the uh, system, right, of equations, that models the situation. So in other words, the equations that you've come up with in, in number three. All right, and number five, uh, check and state your answer. Right, in terms of the question. Right, so this is the steps that we need to uh, work our way through. Now, we'll look at an example. All right, let's suppose that at Easy Snacks, chocolate peanuts worth $2.50 per pound are mixed with chocolate almonds worth $7.50 per pound in order to get a 20 pound mixture worth uh, sorry, $4.50 per, per pound and uh, how much of each type of snack is used. So in other words, let's go through this, here we go. All right, so at this particular company, all right, Easy Snacks, we have chocolate peanuts. Now chocolate peanuts are worth 250 per pound. So let's write that down. So this is step one, making sure we understand the problem. All right, what do we know? Well, we have chocolate peanuts All right, is two dollars fifty per pound. All right now, we're going to mix these with chocolate almonds worth seven fifty per pound. So chocolate almonds are going to be seven dollars fifty per pound. Now, we're going to mix them to get a 20 pound mixture worth $4.50 per pound. So, we have a 20 pound mixture, all right, worth $4.50 per pound. All right, now notice this here, so we're breaking down all the information that we have here. 
Now next, how much of each type of snack is used? All right, so we need the number of pounds of this one. And we need the number of pounds of this one. Right, so there we have uh, broken down the words and we now have a situation that we can have some sort of idea about. Now, a couple other things that we can work out from here uh, before we set up our, um, our variables is, notice that we have four, 20 pounds of, at $4.50 per pound. So 20 times $4.50 is going to be $90. Okay, so at the end of the day, all right, our mixtures, uh, so however many pounds of um, peanuts plus um, how many pounds of almonds, $2.50 a pound for peanuts, $7.50 a pound per, um, for almonds, all right, those two added together must give us um, $90. Okay, all right, now what else do we know? Well, let's let's imagine, all right, that uh, let's just take a um, test scenario. So let's suppose that um, we have twenty pounds, all right. So if I take say five pounds of um, chocolate almonds. Right, and 15 pounds of uh, chocolate peanuts. So what do we have here? Well, we have, uh, let's put this down, chocolate peanuts. It's going to be five, all right, times by, uh, so 750. All right, so what's five times 750? 35, 3750 by the look of it. Okay, and then, uh, oops, that was uh, almonds. All right, and then we have chocolate peanuts. All right, 15 at um, $2.50. Right, that's going to be what? Um, it looks like it's going to be 37.50 as well. So it's going to be uh, 10 is 25 and then 5 times 25. All right, so what we have then, we can use our calculator. All right, if you get stuck. All right, 5 times $2.50. Yep, 37.50. That's right. Okay, so we have 37.50. Now when I add those up, all right, I end up with... Um, $75, a little bit short of our $90. So in other words, we get an idea here though of how we actually do this. Notice that it was the number of pounds times the price and the number of pounds here times this price and this gave us the price for each of those. And when we mix them together, all right, then we have $75. Now notice here that when I add the five and the 15, I also get the 20 pounds. So that 20 pounds with that kind of mixture would give us $75, which is, all right, a little bit short. Okay. All right, now, so let's go to step two. All right, step two. All right, now sometimes it's good to set up a table, all right, to do this. And um, so let's uh, set up a table here. We're going to have a price per pound, and we're going to have uh, the number of pounds, and we're going to have the value of the mix. Okay. All right, so let's put this down to a table. And of course, now we have um, chocolate peanuts here. And we have chocolate uh, almonds here. 
and then we have our mixture. Okay, now, so let's go with chocolate uh, peanuts. All right, so we know that we uh, uh, have the price per pound of these is going to be two dollars fifty. Price per pound of chocolate almonds is going to be seven dollars fifty. Okay, the mixtures um, value is going to be four fifty. Okay, that's what we had up here. Right, next number of pounds. Well, let's. This is where we put our variables in. All right, so for chocolate peanuts, let's call that X and chocolate almonds Y. So how much of this mixture do we have? Well, 20 pounds. Okay, so notice that these are the pounds. All right, next, the value of the mix. All right, well, it's going to be the, notice that we did up here, the number of pounds times, all right, the price. So this will be $2.50 or 2.5X. And this one will be 7.5Y. And of course, what do we have up here? Well, we did $4.50 times 20 and we got 90. Okay. All right, so. Now, <clears throat> let's now look at um, our equations that we can set up here. So this is step three. What is going to model this situation? Well, the very first thing is the number of pounds is easy. We're going to have X plus Y is equal to 20. Number of pounds of chocolate peanuts plus the number of pounds of chocolate almonds must add up to 20 pounds. So that's the first thing. Right, next we have um, the value of the mix must come out to be $90, so it must be 2.5X plus 7.5Y must be equal to 90. Okay. All right, so we now have our system of equations. Now, our next step must be to go ahead and solve this uh, system of equations. And uh, so we need to, uh, to do that. Uh, so step four, let's solve the system. Okay, so let's call this one number one, and this is number two. Now, the complication is we have decimals. So I'm going to get rid of the decimals first. Let's scroll this up. And uh, so we're going to, um, first of all, multiply equation 2 by 10. So the system becomes x plus y equals 20, which is our number 1. And our new number two now becomes 25x plus 75y must be equal to 900. So that's our uh, new number two. All right, so now we've got to look at this and say, okay, we need to somehow change one of these equations so that we can use elimination. And uh, you can see here that it doesn't really matter which one we use. If we eliminate x, we just need to multiply equation 1 through by negative 25. And that, of course, looks like uh, a pretty good thing to do. So let's multiply equation 1 by um, negative 25. Right, so when we do this, so let's scroll this up a little bit. Then my system is going to become negative uh, 25x subtract 25y is going to be equal to, now 25 times um, 20 is going to be negative 500. Right, so this is our equation 3, if you like. And we're going to add this to 25x plus 75y equals 900, which is our new number two. Now, when I add these, okay, we're gonna get zero X here. We're gonna get 50, so plus 50 Y, 
is going to be equal to 400. Okay, so really what I have here, all right, if we scroll this up a little, is I have uh, 50y equals 400, therefore y is equal to 400 divided by 50, and 5's in this goes 8. Now what does that 8 represent? Well, the 8 represents, of course, um, the number of pounds that Y represents, or whichever one Y represents, and of course Y represented, right, the chocolate almonds. So we are requiring then um, 8, all right, pounds of chocolate almonds. Now remember that X plus Y is got to be equal to 20. Right, which means then, of course, that x plus 8 must be equal to 20, which implies then that x is equal to 12. So our suggestion here, all right, is that we are going to um, need 8 pounds of almonds. So let's just scroll back here. So our fifth step now, step 5, is we're suggesting 8 pounds of chocolate almonds. and 12 pounds of chocolate peanuts. Now let's see if that works. Well, 12 times $2.50 plus 8 times $7.50, what's this come out to be? Well, all right, so 12 times um, $2.50 is going to be um, thirty dollars. Plus now eight times seven dollars fifty is going to be sixty dollars, and this comes out to be ninety dollars. And so that checks out. All right. So our answer then. So the solution is right mix 12 pounds of chocolate peanuts with 8 pounds of chocolate almonds.